Hello, I'm Jesse McCready, proprietor of Psycho Labs, maker of Animodule. This is my new voltage controlled scanner switch. I'm going to give you a short demo of what it does today. So you see I have a little patch running on here. Just different outputs from two state variable filters. One of them is the SOB. You can hear the wave folder on it. You can see this is being controlled by a triangle wave. It's running pretty slow. I'll turn it up so you can hear. You see Oh, it's a sine wave. As the sine wave goes up and then goes down, you see the different, the four different lights light up, and it selects the different channels that's plugged in to these jacks right here. Now, let's see when I turn it up. There's a DC input and there's an AC input. The AC input is a fixed scale, supposed to work with 10 volt peak to peak. There's an offset so you can scale it up or down depending on where you want to center it. The DC has a, has a scale pot. So you can trim it accordingly. And the offset works with the DC too. So for instance, you wanted to make only two of these channels. turn the scale down. Now I, I have the sine wave plugged into the DC so I could show you the, the scale. Let's turn that back up. Okay so we're running a fourth. Now this will run up into audio rate and you can get some pretty cool crunchy sounds with it. bring it up higher. As you can see it will go up and work above the audible frequencies. Okay, I'm going to detune some of these oscillators and show you.
So, you can pretty much use it like a wavetable and plug your own signals into it. You can run it above audio rates. I know what good that would do you for making music, but... Or you could, for instance, plug it into a sine wave on the same oscillator you're using. You can set the levels for each channel. Sweep the filter a little bit. Okay, that's enough for the first demo of the voltage controls scanner switch made by Animodule. Next demo I'll put together, I'll show you how you can run different sequencers into the different channels run them out through the output into an oscillator so you can evolve your melody. Thank you for watching. You can find more information at animodule.com.